I didn't know you go live on airplane mode. Can you? Oh, I guess you can. All right, guys, I will see you over there. Um, and don't forget to um, look out for the email of everything that we just talked about. Look out for the PDF. And thank you guys so much. I will see you over on my Instagram. Hey, y'all. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so... Um, <laughs> I totally thought that you couldn't have in, uh, your airplane mode and like go live. That's embarrassing. All right, guys. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so sorry about being late. My webinar ran a little bit over. If you guys did not, um, <laughs> my bad. I see, I still get messages. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me just make sure that y'all can hear me because I just went to a different. I just went into a different um, scene. But like I said, we just got finished with our everything you need to know about the ATIT 7. If you missed it, oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Okay, y'all can hear me. Great. So um, if you guys were with me just now in the free webinar that we had, about everything that you needed to know about the ATITs, including the difference between the ATIT6 and ATIT7. Let me know if you were there. Give me a thumbs up if you were there, period. Okay, you pulled up. All right, so um, perfect, you guys can hear me. All right, guys, like I said, it is Tees Tuesday. You already know what it is. This is our weekly Tees practice. Um, where we go over the same four sections, math, reading, reading, writing, arithmetic, I'm just kidding, reading, math, science, I almost said reading again, and English um, and language usage. Those are going to be our four categories. Um, we're going to focus on this live, we're going to focus on math and science, um, strictly because for reading and um, English, you would need to read <laughs> the question. So with that being said, if you guys don't have the Nurse Sam app downloaded, you definitely need to because right after we get go over these um, questions, um, um, the same questions plus everything that we didn't get to go over, all 20 questions is going to go into the app. It's called the Nurse Sam. That's the name of the app. It's free for iOS, Android, all that. It's free for everybody. Um, and the... 20 questions that you get is free. Weekly, 20 questions. Every Tuesday, it's also going to be um, free, okay? So that's where, how you're gonna be able to see the uh, reading and English questions and get your practice in for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, um, sorry. Let's get into our ATITs. Now, I just went over the categories, like I said. Um, this is true Jeopardy style, so you have like the blue screen. Um, each section, each category has five um, answer choices, not five questions, sorry, ranging from 100 points to 500 points. <clears throat> we are playing for prizes, okay? So anybody with the, let me get my thing, any, um, the top three people with the highest scores, is going to get a free copy of the ATITs bundle. Now, with that being said, just in case y'all haven't seen my page recently, <laughs> um, anybody that has the ATITs um, bundle, which is the current version, which is the version six, um, closer to June 3rd, um, which is going to be when the seventh version takes over and replaces ATIT six. Um, anybody with the um, ATIT's study bundle is going to get the seven, the seventh version upgrade or update complimentary, okay? So if you purchased and or won um, an ATIT's uh, bundle from me, you're gonna get that um, upgrade for free. So you can start, you can get it now so you can start to kinda um, um, go through your, your study process, your, re your review process, because I always recommend that you take four to six weeks in preparing to study for the ATITs or the HESI, whatever entrance exam. I highly recommend four to six weeks. Same thing with NCLEX. You know why? Because it's not like you're sitting here and relearning the content. It's stuff that you already know. 
So what you have to practice doing is fishing in that mind of yours and trying to and um, trying to re uh, recall what you learned in geometry class in fourth grade or whatever the case, seventh grade, whatever, whatever t uh, grade you were in. But that's that's really what makes the T's and the ent these entrance exams difficult. It's because it's comprehensive. And, you know, there's no way to really go back and sit and learn everything page by page because it's literally all your primary schooling, all the education that you learn um, in grade school is definitely going to be tested. OK, they are testing you on your clinical judgment, not your clinical judgment, your um, comprehension and your critical thinking. All right. So practice makes perfect with these types of um, like comprehensive tests. The best thing you can do is just just practice, practice, practice. Take question, take question after question after question. Somebody said, are you a nurse? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm a licensed practical nurse. Been, been so for eight years. She's a proud nurse. Absolutely. All right. Let's go ahead and fill up your questions. Let's start. All right, let's start with science. We're gonna start off low right here. We're gonna start off low. Um, just in case you guys are new or just in case and no one's um, played with me before. First of all, hello, how you doing? Uh, um, when you, well, if this is your first time taking Teas Tuesday, raise your hand, let me know. Say me in the comments. Let me know if this is your first time. If this isn't your first time, welcome back. Say hi again. Okay, let me know um, if you've experienced it before versus if this is your first time. Just in case it's your first time, I'm going to give you like a quick rundown of um, the rules. I'm going to read the question. I'm going to read the answer choices. And you guys have to answer right here in the comments. Um, true Jeopardy style. So you have to say what is and then you have to answer the question. All right. Um, the answer choices are going to be either one, two, three, or four. So whatever, if the answer is two, you have to say what is two. You have to say what is for this game. You have to say what is in order to, um, uh, and have the correct answer in order to qualify um, for those points. Okay. If you are first on my screen, then you'll be the winner of those points. Okay. Um, what else am I going to say? What else am I going to say? A little tip, if you want to go ahead and copy, um, like type in what is in your comments and just kind of copy it. So when you go to answer the question, you can just paste it and then put your answer. That'll shave off a couple seconds. Okay. Uh, let me see. Any questions? I set the rules. I think I said everything that I need to say. All right. These questions um, are from nursehub.com. All right. There's a premium prep um, for all our nursing school entrance exams from ATITs to HESI, even the Wonderlic. There's over 7,500 questions on that website. You get to um, go by the this uh, video detailed responses and rationales. Um, you get to go over each quiz and kind of get scored so you can go back and work on what uh, maybe is your weakest area. Um, you'll be able to see your progress and better um, form like a strategy around which or whatever you need to study. Okay, so if you like the questions that I'm I'm going to be coming up, not coming up, but you like the questions that um, we're gonna go over, then definitely check out nursehub.com. All right, um, just in case. Hold on one second. Just in case you guys need to. Get the link for how to download the app so you can play the mobile version the questions on the mobile version are from last week you won't get the questions from tonight until after we um, go over tonight's question all right so this is hold on this is the app Mm -mm -mm. The app, once again, is the Nurse Sam. You can search that in your um, Apple and um, Google Play 
stores, app stores. That's the name of the app. And once again, the Tease Tuesday is gonna be within the Tease, ATI Tease Prep. And you'll see the um, banner that says Tease Tuesday Mobile, tap to click me. It's 100% free. You get 20 questions every week. Okay, so that's the app. And then as far as where you can go to get oh, access to Nurse Hub in over 7,500 questions, practice questions, you can go to nursehub.com. Okay, boom. Let me make sure, pin comment, and then nursehub.com. Awesome. All right, guys, so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I gave you guys the rundown. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is science for 100 points. Remember to say what is. Okay. <clears throat> uh, T lymphocytes mature and become functional in which of the following organs? T lymphocytes mature and become functional in which of the following organs? Is it one, bone marrow, two, lymph nodes, three, spleen, or four, Thymus, I almost said thymus. <laughs> thymus, that's number four. All right, T lymphocytes. I'm gonna say it one more time just in case people are coming in. T lymphocytes mature and become functional in which of the following organs? Don't forget to say what is. Um, is it one, bone marrow, two, lymph nodes, three, the spleen, or four, the thymus? What is our answer? Mm -mm -mm. All right, the answer is what is four thymus? Listen, y'all were y'all were telling me, okay? There's a lot of people that got the answer correct. You guys know that um, I celebrate wins, big or small. Okay, everyone loves to tell you when you're doing something wrong, but not a lot of people go ahead and take the time and say, you know what, you did great with this. You could work on this. You know a little bit more that I'm telling you that <laughs> if that would have been me I would have had way less anxiety and PTSD from nursing school okay so the correct answer is what is for okay and sometimes you need that motivation like okay I, I am studying the right thing I, I am doing it all right it helps build your confidence and lessen that test anxiety so that you don't go into these people testing center and throw up <laughs> or just lose everything that you um that you studied and you know you're you're properly prepared but sometimes test anxiety and that just can can come from just feeling overwhelmed sometimes that takes over all right so like i said the answer is what is for the first person on my sc my screen <laughs> okay sometimes there's connectivity issues so i can't be held responsible if you get something set last or whatever the case may be and i get it at a different time that's what happens with life. I can only go by what I see, but it's okay. It's just a game. And as long as you get it correct, that's really all we care for, okay? All right, so once again, what is four or the thymus? First person to get that correct is, wait for it, Amanda three underscore three. I think that's two underscores. Um, hey, Amanda, welcome, welcome. So you are on the scoreboard, Amanda three underscore three. You're on the scoreboard with 100 points. Congratulations. Now, all my other loves that got it correct, because remember, on the actual ATITs, it doesn't matter who's first. It doesn't matter, you, you don't have to say what is, you just have to get that answer correct. So I'm gonna shout out everyone that got it correct, because if this was the T's, you would get your points and your credit, okay? So great job. Um, Amanda, you were first, awesome job. Um, Junie June, what is for, great job. Um, Amor Lola, Unproblematic, E-Money826, Phoenix Rising, um, Mama Mia, Nye the Goddess, RN Liz, awesome job, Lotus Flower Bell, Claire Bear, awesome job guys. I'm doing laundry and I was saying what it's for. 
even like Lauren got it too. She had to have uh, Siri, Alexa, whoever it was. <laughs> she had to have them put it in, but great job. You got what it's for. Um, who else? Uh, start in don't be sad all right so let's go ahead and go through this rationale it says lymphocytes are produced in the bone marrow and but they mature and become functional in two primary lymphoid organs all right the B lymphocytes um, yeah B lymphocytes they differentiate and mature in the bone marrow while T lymphocytes becomes functional in the thymus. I don't know if you guys, but how did you remember? For me, the T and T lymphocytes stood for th uh, thymus. I, isn't that, I really think that's exactly why it's named after what it's named after. Um, B lymphocytes, that B stands for bone marrow. And for T lymphocytes, it's because it's in the thymus or it becomes functional in the thymus. All right, so just in case, um, what is happening? Just in case, star and DM me, boo. DM me. Um, so just in case you needed something to help you remember, the B lymphocytes mature in the bone marrow, B for B. T lymphocytes um, become functional in the thymus. T for thymus, all right? great job let's go ahead and go over to our next question if you have anybody that's applying to nursing school about to take their teas go ahead and tag them below because this is going to be um a review that they don't want to miss free review you can't miss it all right um so that was science now let's do mm, let's do math for 300 and this one is Oh, I won't tell you what it is. Let's do math for 300. All right, I'm gonna read the question once again. I'm gonna actually show y'all this one. Lauren knows what I'm talking about. Sometimes with those math questions, I'm gonna just have to turn the screen so y'all can see it because this is a virtual, <laughs> that we're visual people, okay? And mom, Mia, she said in school, I don't know. <laughs> DM me, boo, totally DM me. All right, um, let me go ahead and show you guys this question. It is math, oh no, it's math <laughs> for 300, one second. Mm. Mm. All right, so here we go. All right, this is the question, math for 300. 75 millimeters is equal to blank centimeters. Is it one, 0 0.75, two, 7,500, three, 0 0.075, or four, 7.5? All right, 75 millimeters. This is a conversion question, unit conversion. 75 millimeters is equal to how many centimeters? Don't forget to say what is. What is our answer? All right. Let's go ahead and whoop, whoop. All right, it is what is four. What is four? Below is a chart of the metric prefixes most commonly used from smallest, which is the milli, all the way to kilo. All right. Um, so you have um, milli which is the M, centi, the C, deci, all right, deca, hecto, and then kilo, all right? Let me go back here, and then we're going to um, go over the actual rules for how we got that, all right? So the answer was what is for, 
first person to get what is for on my screen. Make sure this don't fall no more. Um, one second. Mm -hmm. Amanda, okay, Amanda three underscore three. She is coming for y'all next. I heard my hand. She is coming for y'all next. Period. Great job, Amanda three. Um, the answer is what is four. So you just got another three hundred added to your score. So you originally had one hundred added to your three hundred. You now have four hundred points. Awesome job. All right. So who else got what is four? Uh, Flawless Minx, you got what is, well, you got four, but you didn't say what is, um, but you did get the correct answer, so great job. Um, who else? Mama Mia, got what is four, Nine the Goddess, E-Money 826. And then Mama Mia, you changed your answer. What did I tell you? I'm going to take back my like. I'm just kidding. What did I tell you about changing those answers? All right. Um, who else got it? <clears throat> Ebony Beauty. Oh, no. Um, it's Joyous Jasmine, Future Nurse April, uh -uh, Flawless Minx, yeah, I see you, what it's for, Claire Bear, R and Liz, mm -mm -mm. hey boo, hey pink pearls, thank you, I look pretty today, what about the other days, what about the other days, <laughs> I'm just kidding, um, oh, oh, you take your teas this Sunday, okay cool so ooh, i'm so excited for you so i expect like around tuesday ish maybe before you'd be like sam i took him past that thing period so like um uh amanda definitely keep me um um up to date okay <laughs> i'm starting to every day thank you so sweet all right let me show you this is the um the math version of the Mad Tees Party, also included in your ATITs bundles. But this is the individual kit. Wait for it, wait for it. Let's put this down. I am going to show you guys where that is. I'm actually probably thinking about the number from, I'm at the chart from, dosage calculations am I oh no you have your metric conversions like here your metric conversions this one is asking us for 75 millimeters to centimeters we know that the actual like the meters part is just the units um because we're using two or meters you're you're measuring length but the milli and the centi is going to be universal no matter what type of um, whatever whatever you're measuring. Whatever the measurement is, it's going to be, you know, milli, centi, um, kilo, anything like that. All right. So if we have, let's go and go over it. All right. Um, every time you move to the right, you divide that number by 10. And I'll say that, um, for example, all right, so when you're moving your units from, um, well, two kilo, all right, from the middle, actually, I think it is in here. Yeah, kind of. Um, all right, these are your um, place values. So if you're moving, if you're moving from um, units, which is like in the middle, to kilo, that's going to be three spaces. All right. So um, a lot of people, when you move three spaces, those spaces represent zeros. So if I'm moving three spaces, um, we would divide by 10 three times or with three zeros, that's a thousand. Does that make sense? So uh, a, a little short trick that everybody uses is if you have to move the decimal um, to the right. Wait, what is it? Okay, yes, when you're moving it to the right, you are going, um, 
larger. You're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So if you're going from, um, so if you're going to the right, from left to right, or just to the right period, you're going towards the larger end of your units. If you're going to the left, you're going to the smaller units. All right, um, because you're going to the right and to the, the larger units, um, you would have more of the smaller units to represent a larger unit. For example, right here where we said seven millimeters um, to centimeters. From milli, to centimeter or milli to centi what that actually is is you're going one step to the right so when you're moving from milli to centi you're going one step to the right so remember with that one space or that one step count that as a zero all right um with with that zero all right that one zero that's ten okay because there's only one zero and 10 all this is by tenths okay so you don't have to worry about about it being 20 40 no all right the number of zeros is attached to that one okay so once again if we're moving from milli to centi we're going um <clears throat> we're going larger okay so if we have 75 millimeters and with that 75 that that dot is at the end um, we're going to the right and we're going one step to the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide because remember, we're going to have, um, more of the smaller than the bigger, if that makes sense. Okay. And like I said, if, because we're moving one step to the right, it's just one zero that we're accounting for. So we're going to divide by 10. So that's 75 millimeters. We're going to divide that by 10 because that one zero is uh, representative of that one step move to the right from milli to centi. So 75 divided by 10 is 7.5. Does that make sense? Remember, as you go to the right, you're getting bigger. So you can expect for that number, whatever centi is, is going to be a smaller number than milli. So think of it as like um, cents. You have 100 cents to equal one dollar, all right? Because those units, the cents is a smaller unit, it's gonna take more of those units to make up that larger unit. So 100 cents is still one dollar, but quantity-wise, you have more of the cents. Same thing with milli to centi, all right? You're gonna have more of the milli, which is 75, um, than the cents. So 75 divided by 10, 7.5, that's gonna be 7.5, which is your number four, okay? All right, ah, one second. I was drawing and stuff. All right, uh, great job to everyone that got that one. Let's go ahead and move over to the next question. You see what I did there? Nope, no pun was actually intended, but I'm funny. <laughs> All right, let's do Let's do science for 400. Science for 400. All right, so quick little thing. Um, just, in case you, just in case you guys did not meet me um, earlier today at six for our, um, this is uh, science. We're doing math in science, live and verbally. But math, science, reading, and English are both available on the app and will be available, this specific one will be available on the app um, after we get off of live. Okay, so if you did not come to our everything you need to know about the ATIT 7, if you did not come to that, um, or if you haven't been through my stories, you know that the one of the main differences between the current version of ATI, which is the 6th version, um, versus the new and upcoming 7th version of the ATITs is the categories within science. That's really what has everybody like freaking out. But honestly, it's not even that. That should be worrisome. It's the question types. But we won't go into that, okay? Um, so for ATIT 6, you're going to have um, the categories under science. You're going to have human anatomy. You're going to have life and physical sciences. And then you're going to have um, scientific research. Those are your three main categories of what's currently 
being tested under your science. Now for the ATIT 7, what's going to be your categories, what they're doing, one of the main differences is they're taking out life sciences. Remember you have three. They're taking out life sciences and they're actually taking whatever what's in life sciences and just giving it its own category. All right. So what you're going to have now in the ATIT 7 after June 3rd, on and after June 3rd is human anatomy and physiology, which is the same as what you're getting now. You're actually just going to have less questions. Um, and then once again, instead of having life and physical sciences, what you're going to have instead is the things and the subcategories that make up life and physical sciences. So biology chemistry and what you have now for six is also like um genetic slash heredity but you won't have that um at least that category for the seventh version so those are the three sciences that make up life and physical sciences you're already getting tested on it you're already getting tested on biology you're already getting tested on chemistry all right if you don't believe me this is your current t6 science I'm just going to go straight to the first half. You have, you know, your, your anatomy and physiology. So it's going to be like your organ systems and stuff. And then we're going to get into life and physical sciences right here. Look at that. Heredity. Huh? That's crazy. Let's switch it up. Oh, snap. There's going to be a little bit more. You're going to have DNA. Uh, cell biology, you're going to have your chromosomes, Ooh, Mendel's law of heredity, and then you're also going to have, is that chemistry? Is that chemistry I see? Basic atomic structure, properties of substances, okay, um, freezing point, melting point, all those are, chem that's chemistry. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but you're already learning slash uh, being tested on that. So I don't want y'all to like get your get your get your panties all in a bunch and freak out and have like nine panic attacks because you're like, oh, I now have to take biology and chemistry when you literally were already taking it. <laughs> don't let them suck you out. All right. It was just underneath the the umbrella of life and physical sciences. But but that stuff you're already you're already being um, tested on. OK, what we're going to do um, is, you know. Uh, make sure we're focusing a little bit more on those specific, those two specific sciences, um, you know, biology and chemistry. But th that stuff's already in here. All right. You're already getting um, your ATITs um, or your biology and chem fix for ATIT 6. So when you're taking ATIT 7 or studying for ATIT 7, um, just know that you've got this already. You, you're not new to this. You're true to this, okay? You've already been studying and practicing taking biology and chemistry questions. It just wasn't under that category. It is the same thing, but it's just it was under a different uh, wig, all right? The, we had the life and physical sciences wig, but what T7 is doing is snatching that wig right off and just re revealing, I almost said a... Uh, I almost said it. It wasn't supposed to be a joke, but I remembered the whole Chris Brown. No, Chris Brown. <laughs> Chris, uh, well, what's the man's name? Chris Rock and Will Smith thing. And what I was about to say, no, negative Ghost Rider. So uh, anyway, they're snatching the life and physical sciences wig right off. And they're just exposing uh, the biology and chemistry edges. It, it, it was still there. It was just hidden under a wig. Okay. All right. So with that being said, let's get into this question, which is still from ATIT 6. But category wise, this is biology heredity. OK, so <clears throat> the presence of this is science for 400 guys. The presence of two varying alleles or alleles of a gene is called a blank individual. The presence of two varying alleles of a gene is called a blank individual. <laughs> I love your analogies. One homozygous, two mutated, three heterozygous, or four recombinant. The presence of two varying 
alleles or alleles, I can't say that, of a gene is called a blank individual. Is it one, homozygous, two, mutil I almost said mutilated, mutated, <laughs> three, heterozygous, or four, recombinant? We got two varying alleles, all right, of a gene. What is that individual going to be called? Homozygous, mutated, that's rude, <laughs> three, uh, heterozygous, or recombinant? Option two is giving me like X-Men feels. It's giving me, it's giving me X-Men. <laughs> is this a mutated individual? Like it's, they should have just put X-Men, anyway. Presence of two varying alleles. What is going to be our answer? Don't forget to say what is. All right. Our answer is what is three heterozygous. The presence of two varying alleles of a gene is called a heterozygous individual. All right, so first, first person to get that was Phoenix Rising. Congratulations, Phoenix Rising. You, wait, has to from Phoenix Rising. Love your name, but did not love the Phoenix Rising X-Men movie. Since we're talking about X-Men, uh, number two, Mutated, Phoenix Rising was a horrible movie. That, that sucked, okay? Anyway. Um, Phoenix Rising 1, you have 400 points on the scoreboard, which means you are tied with Amanda 3 underscore 3. It could be anybody's game. All right. So let's go ahead. Great job, Phoenix Rising. Um, everybody else that got what is 3, which is heterozygous, correct? Wait, Amanda. Uh, Mrs. Botello, remember to put what is, and we won't do question marks, all right? We, we're, we're confident about our answers, so we're not going to be like, um, three? We're going to be like, three! Um, I, I did like this. Three! Okay? Period. Um, but yes, you did get it correct, so awesome job. Mm, Lauren, awesome job. Mentoria, great job. Uh, the Chosen One. Um... <laughs> said I can't um yes the varying is what made it hetero <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get into why it's the correct okay first of all the let the question sometimes help you sometimes the the answer is in the well all the time the key points Okay, not all the time. Most of the time, the key points is right there in the question. Okay, it's going to tell on itself every time. All right, so the presence of two varying. All right, varying means a variety, a variation, not the same. Okay, so you're going to have two different alleles on a gene. What kind of individual is going to be? So the answer was heterozygous. Which is really interesting because whenever we have um, opposite answers, so first of all, the opposite of heterozygous is homozygous, okay? So a homozygous inf um, individual um, would be two of the same alleles. That homo means same. Hetero means different. Okay, um, think about homosexuals, heterosexuals. Homosexuals usually um, go for the same sex. Heterosexuals, a different sex. So if it's a man, they're going to go for a woman. If it's a woman, they're going to go for the man. So that's, honestly, that's how I remember the difference between homozygous and homo, I mean, heterozygous. That homo and hetero, <clears throat> that um, let those prefixes help you. Homo means the same. Hetero means different. All right. Um, and it's interesting that, remember I said they're opposites. Test taking strategy, I say it almost every week because it's, literally in a question almost every week, um, which should tell you even more. Um, test taking strategy. Whenever you have, especially multiple choice, well, honestly, anything. When you have questions and um, on the answer choices or in the answer choices, you see the opposite of one. 
it's going to be one or the other. Okay, so um, for example, if one answer choice said lights on and the other <laughs> answer choice said, said lights off, that's that's instant. Um, that's going to raise an instant red flag in my mind and be like, okay, so these are opposites, which means obviously they can't be both just in case the select all that apply. But the fact that it's two opposites means they're trying to throw me off. So more, more than likely, if you have two of the same, uh, not the same, but if you have opposite answers in the same answer choice or in the same um, group of answer choices, it's going to be the correct answer is going to be one or the other. Okay. Um, that's, that's really big, especially as far as like nursing school and the NCLEX, when you get like a question uh, and all, sometimes you'll have, you know, the first option will be hypertension. Second option will be hypotension. So it, it kind of like, it, it narrows it down even further without giving it all away. That's just one of the test taking um, secrets and tips that I always, I, I live by, because even if I didn't know what it was, I'd be like, okay, t these are two of the opposites. So that means more than likely, it's gonna be one of these two. So I just narrowed it down from four to two, just because they're opposites, okay? Um, once again, uh, as far as the rationale, let's go ahead and go through it, just in case you get this question again, but in a different form, all right? Um, this says, if two, different or varying remember that varying meant different if two different um alleles are present at a locus of the chromosome it's considered heterozygous because hetero is synonymous with different all right um and it would be a, a genotype because genotypes um contain two or more alleles all right um Where's the other answer choices? Hold on one second. All right, so you know how we have um, like the Punnett square? You know, you have the Punnett square, then you have um, uh, like the parent, like the mom will be up here, a parent one. Um, and then parent to that. This is going to be their um, their alleles. All right. This is going to be an allele, and this is going to be an allele. All right. Um, once again, genotypes contain two or more alleles, and usually this is going to you know uh, genotypes represent genetic. The G in genotype represents uh, represents the genetic makeup of something. Phenotypes are physical. P for P. So let's say the um, alleles that we're talking about represent like brown eyes. So if it's a dominant um, allele, then it's going to be represented with a capital letter. So a capital B. If we have a recessive, it's going to be little b. Big bank, little bank. Okay. Um, so that's going to be a dominant allele. All right. Same thing on the other side. Um, but you see how that's that little b and big B, those are two varying or different alleles. This is a heterozygous individual. Why? Because the genotypes are different. The alleles are different right here. All right. Even though it's still brown eyes because it's dominant, but the fact that there's two different ones means they're heterozygous. Now moving over here, if we wanted a if if uh, mom over here wanted to mate with a homozygous individual, they would either they would have two of the same things. All right, so it would either be big B big B or little B little B. So if um, big B represents brown, then the little B represents black. So let's say it's um, we have a brown eyed heterozygous um, individual right here, and they're mating with a black eyed, so the little b, little b, a black eyed individual. These are two of the same um, alleles present at this genotype. All right, 
because we have big uh, little b little b it's two of the same thing they're going to be a homozygous individual does that make sense just wanted to just give you guys kind of like an overview of that um so that's the difference between homozygous and heterozygous um individuals based on whether or not they have uh the same or different alleles okay um i do have an app the app is called the nurse sam it's literally pinned right there boop boop right there um that's going to be the app i tried to um copy and paste the actual link <laughs> but it wouldn't let me so just go to my page and um right above the actual buttons you should see like a whole bunch of social icons the last two is what you can click for either ios or android to take you to the um to take you to the app free once again free 20 questions every week for t's and 25 questions every week for nclex listen free prep all right, let's go to our next question. That was Phoenix Rising. I got that for 400. Great job. Let's go to... Mm, mm, one second. All right, this is a math question. This is a math question. Get your, get your, uh, your papers, your pens. Where's my calculator? Your calculators. You won't be able to bring a calculator to your ATITs, but the computer is going to have one, or the, the program is going to have one built in. So you can't take this little cute one or, or the, the bigger T, T981 or whatever it's called, calculators where you went in and you program all the, um, the equations in there. I know y'all did that because I did. <laughs> but yeah, you can't bring that. You can't bring it. So let's go ahead and get our papers and pens or whatever we need because we're about to get into a math question. All right. All right, so y'all know I like to switch up names. <laughs> um, who's been in, who's been in the hot seat um, this week? I'm trying to think of who the shade room has been really posting. Um, who's who have they been really posting this week? Ooh, Meg the Stallion. Sure, Meg the Stallion adds 32 cups of water to a bucket containing three gallons of water i'm gonna read that one more time one more time oh that would have been a good one amber heard okay next question is gonna be amber <laughs> so uh yes megan the stallion the stallion um adds 32 cups of water to a bucket containing three gallons of water how many liters of water are in the bucket that's fucked up <laughs> Is it one, eight, two, nineteen, three, thirty-five, or four, twenty-six? Let's go back over it. Our girl Megan, in between the, these Gail King um, interviews, she got she got a bucket that she probably crying those. Like, Y'all was calling them crocodile tears, but I believe my girl. Um, but yes, Meg adds thirty-two cups of water to a bucket containing three gallons. All right, so 32 cups added to three gallons is going to give you how many liters of water in that bucket? It's gonna be eight liters. Is it gonna be 19 liters? Is it 35 liters or 26 liters? How many liters, not line liters, but literally liters? <laughs> are going to be in that bucket if you had if Meg added 32 cups of good old H2O to a bucket containing three gallons of water. Where's, where's my, y'all know how many cups in a gallon and how many liters in a gallon and all that stuff? Do y'all know that right off rip? Do y'all know that right off rip? All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to my conversion. Ah, I'm going to my conversions. All right, so the correct answer right here. Let's look and see. Wait, I'm gonna I'm give y'all some time because I feel like not everybody, um, <laughs> not everybody's answering. Mm. 
Okay, cool. Let's look and see how many liters of water are in that bucket. Wait, hold on. Everyone that's giving me a decimal, I, I did not say not a decimal point. <laughs> the answers are 8, 19, rounded, literally rounded, 35 or 26. Okay, all right, so the answer is what is 2? 19. 19. It's the 19 liters is the correct answer. Y'all know we're gonna go through it and go over it. Let me get my let me get my paper out. All right, so the answer once again is what is two? And I think I saw who that was, and I think that was my girl with the great name, but the movie was bad. Phoenix Rising, yes, great job, boo. What is two? This was math for 500, so Phoenix Rising, you just got 500 points added to your score, and you are already at 400, so you are now at 900. Awesome job. All right, so everybody else that got what is 2 or what is 19 is our, our future nurse April. Great job. Um, Nye the Goddess. E-Money. Mmm... Um, big dog, what's your question? Um, Amanda, you, I knew what you meant. You was probably like, "This is the answer," but I don't know what the 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 choices are because this this is multiple choice. Now, what I will tell y'all is on the on the seventh version of the tease, what should actually be freaking y'all out is the different types of questions, not the, the addition of biology and chemistry because, like I said, that's already there. Um, it's just the, the, the number of questions is actually just distributed, um, distributed, just weird and different, but the different types of questions other than multiple choice, you're going to have multiple select. So select all that apply will now be introduced into ATIT seven. I know you're going to have hot spot questions. It's sounding real and ish, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're going to have supply answer, which is basically you'll have a question like this but you won't have the answer choices. What you have to do is just supply that answer into the blank space, all right? Um, so just in case I didn't have, you know, one, two, three, or four, and it was actually just like, you know, round up, or it'll tell you to round if they want you to round. Um, but if just in case you had to type that question in, that's 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 gonna be one of the answer cho not answer choices one of the new question types for ATIT seven so that's gonna be a little crazy <laughs> um so yes um eighteen point ninety three you would round that up to nineteen I know what you meant same thing with you Mama Mia um boop, 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 boop. Mentoria uh, who else who else big dog what's your question love. <laughs> Um, Mama Mia, I see you. Amanda, three, I see you. Okay, I was doing the math by hand. Listen, I gotta, we're gonna go over it by hand. <laughs> the movie was so good. Am I thinking about the same movie? I'm, no. I might be mixing that up with Captain Marvel, which also sucked. Um, great job, Lauren. I see you, what is two? What else, what else, what else? Um, the, the, everyone will be introduced to the actual test and be required to take that test after June 3rd. I've seen practice questions and I have the, um, the new, um, ATI supplied study guide, um, for the ATITs. So the test makers themselves, <laughs> Um, inform me of everything that I needed to know for the ATITs and I just passed that knowledge right on to you guys and the question types is a doozy <laughs> for me at least so as far as um, the difference between ATIT six questions which is literally just multiple choice but now it's 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 given real and clicks okay um one second it got real real quick mm -mm -mm. Hold on one second. 
Okay, so quick thing. <clears throat> um, I'm going to explain hot spot in just a second. Let me finish going through these, this question. All right, so let's, I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to turn the, the camera around so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so Megan, our girl Meg, hey Meg, ew, ew, 32 cups. All right, we have 32 cups added to a bucket. Y'all know I'm visual. <laughs> Containing three gallons of water. We're looking for the amount of liters. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right, so let's turn this around so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. Are you serious? Stop. Are you joking? Okay, got it. All right, right here. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so this is our question. We have our girl Meg. All right, she's adding 32 cups of water to three gallons of water. This is an extra large. This is X, which is our unknown amount of liters, okay? We are trying to figure out the amount of liters um, for the total amount of water in that bucket, okay? So step one, what we have to do, you see all these different units? We got cups. We got gallons and we got liters. We just have units all over the place, okay? So first step first, um, you want to convert cups to gallons, okay? So, mm -mm -mm. wait, hold on one second. Okay, I was like, wait, what? Okay, so 32 cups. We have, we're going from cups to gallons. We have um, 32 of these cups um, equals how many gallons what we have to do is actually divide by 16. So 16 cups there are 16 cups in one gallon. All right, that's our conversion rate right there. 16 cups in a gallon. So if we have 32 cups, how many gallons are we going to have? 32 divided by 16 is going to be 2 gallons. All right. Uh, so with our two gallons, let's go ahead and replace that up here because those are some. So Meg's adding 32 cups, which equals, like we said, two gallons. And she's adding that to a bucket that already has three gallons. So two gallons plus three gallons is going to give you a total of five gallons of water in the bucket. They're asking us for the amount of liters all right so first thing we got to do is figure out how many gallons um equal a liter or how many liters i'm sorry would equal a gallon and the correct conversion is that one gallon is equal to 3.8 liters all right, so if we know that one gallon is equal to 3.8 liters and we have five gallons, what we have to do is multiply this times 3.8. So five times 3.8, five gallons times 3.8 liters is going to give us 
five times 3.8. Five times 3.8 is going to get 19. All right, that's going to give us 19 liters. So there are 19 liters of water in this bucket. Don't judge my Chick-fil-A cup, okay? <laughs> All right, so does that make, did that, does that make sense? Was it easier for you guys to kind of see and follow along? Because it was a lot of conversion. We had to go convert cups to gallons, gallons to liters, drops, drops to drop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but there was, um, it was a, like a two-step process, really one, yeah, a two-step process. Um, but the ultimate answer was once again 19 which is what is two um let me look and see who did i say had that phoenix rising all right so great job to everyone that got what is two or 19 um that is a little bit over um, past eight but that concludes the t i can stick around and answer some questions if you need me to that concludes our tease jeopardy game okay for tonight once again these questions actually let me just do it right now so when y'all go to the app you'll, you'll you'll see it give me two seconds all right our winner um for tonight's session we actually have two winners first place is gonna be phoenix rising second place amanda i feel like i just saw amanda say she had to leave hold on one second i was i was doing math one second my baby watching you oh how's your baby Um, one second. I think you guys feel like this is awesome first time here. I'm going to definitely on that. Okay, Amanda, I'm going to send you, you're probably gone by now. I'm going to send you a DM letting you know that you won, boo. So you did, uh, so both Amanda and Phoenix Rising, just in case you guys don't have the, um, ATITs bundle, you just won a free ATITs bundle. All right. Our ATITs bundle is, like I said, currently reflecting the current exam that if you take it today, tomorrow, it would be over this material with this breakdown. So that's why the um, the bundle has not been upgraded yet. It will be, though. And everybody with the bundle or any, everyone that's um, won the bundle, and it, whether it's a giveaway or Tease Tuesday, you will get the update complimentary for free at no extra charge. Okay? So if anyone's purchased or is going to purchase the ATIT's um, six bundle, so you can focus on the content, your anatomy, your biology, your chemistry, um, your your math, your reading. Reading and English are combined in the same um, study kit. It's the circus one, literally because reading in English. So all that content is not going to change. And so if you want to get the ATITs bundle now so you can go through that content, go ahead and do it. Because the things that's going to change um, come June 3rd, isn't the content, it's the um, distribution of the questions, how many questions you're gonna get in each um, section, as well as the question types. Those are the big, big differences between um, ATIT and ATI, well, ATIT 6 and ATIT 7. So once again, if you have the current version of the bundle, you're gonna get the updated yeah, you're going to get the updated breakdown and the updated version um, complimentary. That's going to be emailed to you. You're going to get an email saying, hey, the product that you purchased has been updated. Click here to download the updated bundle. That's what you're going to get. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. So, Amanda, if you're still here, Phoenix Rising, if you're still here, send me a DM with your name, your full name, and your email address. A good email address that I can send you your prize. Um, which one of you, got, who was it? I think Amanda, Amanda, you are taking your, um, your, your test on, did you say Sunday? I think so. You're taking your test on Sunday. So good, good luck. I have no doubt in my mind that you're just going to go and just kill it. Okay. You're about to really go and show ATITs who's boss. And I'm super proud of you ahead of time because you just killed it tonight. So did everybody. But um, Phoenix Rising and Amanda, those are our um, top two winners. 
Um, they're the only people that actually got on the scoreboard, but that doesn't matter <laughs> because, like I said, on the actual ATITs, there is no Jeopardy. There is no what is. You don't have to be first. You just have to be correct. So as long as you guys are answering and getting the questions correct and really comprehending and being able to recall all this information that you learned in grade school, then you're really winning. That's the point that I want you guys to um, really take away. We just do the Jeopardy and the prizes to make it fun <laughs> for study motivation, okay? Um, it shows you what you got wrong and it also shows you the rationale, just like um, how we did it for that math. You have your question, and then once you press for the answer, it gives you the answer, but it also gives you the um, the rationale, step-by-step -step, um, uh, rationale as well. Let me look and see what y'all are saying. Uh-uh-uh. So congratulations, everyone. Remember, um, Amanda Phoenix, remember to send me your... Full name and email. Everyone else, I am updating the app to reflect the questions from tonight. All right, we went over math and science. Um, we didn't even go all, over all math and science, um, but we went over what we could go over in about an hour. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and update the app now. So you guys can play the rest of the questions, including that science and reading, because I want y'all to get y'all, you know, your practice in for that. Because in addition to um, a lot of people think science and math um, is really the, the bulk of the score, but it's actually science and reading. <laughs> OK, so make sure you're getting your practice in for the reading and the English um, so you don't find that it doesn't like surprise you or catch you off guard or anything like that so let's go ahead and one second i'm updating this if anybody has any questions about the atit7 um especially if you missed the breakdown and the free webinar that i just did before this type them in the comments below while i update this which will take like two seconds give me a second one second let me know if y'all have any questions. Um, the question that you guys were um, asking in my story that had I addressed those and answered those during the um, replay. If anybody missed the replay, uh, miss the replay. If anybody missed the free webinar, want to watch the replay and want to watch the replay of this tease definitely join the study bar community because that's the only way you'll be able to watch any um, replay. What I'm also going to do as well is um, in addition to the video replay, I'm going to um, attach a link for you guys to play the um, corresponding tease Jeopardy game as well. Um, so you're not just kind of just watching me do this, but you're actually getting a feel because we change out, we change it out every week. Um, so I'm just going to kind of have a archive of different, um, all the different ATITs, Jeopardies that we have. So you can just honestly just go by them one by one. It's 20 questions every time we do it, 20 questions every week. So, um, we have like 18 or so replays of T's. So that means 18 times 20 is going to be 360. That'll be about three hundo <laughs> 360 on um, practice questions for teas as well as supporting video um content all right so let me go and update that right now to the teas uh just in case anyone's just now coming in um the app is right there pinned it's called the nurse sam um the logo is white background nurse sam logo in the back you may also see the other app that we have, which is the Study Bar Community, and that's specifically for my Study Bar members. All right, so if you're a member of the Study Bar, definitely download the app. It's still free. However, if you're not a member, then it's um, it's going to require you to subscribe. Um, to be a member of the membership, the Study Bar Community, it can either be $29.99 a month, or you can just pay for the whole year and get two months free and just pay $300. Okay, so we've had some people do that so they don't have to worry about it. 
um but obviously that monthly is a choice as well especially because i know usually with nursing school you're not working at the same time or if you are you know those coins are tight <laughs> so i want to make sure you guys are getting what you need and getting that value um for that amount hold on one second right here so let me go and update oh my god i threw the bathroom hey jesse with the juice what's up one second i am updating your stuff i'm updating We're going to get all this. Wait for it. And we're going to All right. I'm going to update that. All right, cool. So, I just updated that. What you may have to do with the app is like quit it, quit the app. Um, and then go back into it so you can see um, the new questions. All right, so the questions that we just went over today have now been uploaded into the app, the Nurse Sam app. Free to play, free to download, all that stuff. Okay, I want y'all to have as much practice as possible. Um, make it as fun as possible so you can go and you can do such a great job. I can't even tell y'all how many people a week, you know, come to me saying, I passed, woohoo, yay, yay because they came to this free weekly practice session and it's better when you do it as groups it just really helps with um um like the group setting really helps you to um have whatever you're learning stick um because you're learning especially you're, you're learning as a group so you have other people that's telling you kind of their experiences or their um tricks to remembering it um so um, there's definitely an advantage of group tutoring. I call them my group study parties. That's what I call them. <laughs> so um, there's always a benefit in coming to play these um, for free. Who doesn't love free practice, right? All right, so that has been uploaded in there. Let me see if you guys are. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Candace Rose. So sweet. Thank you. Um, hi, Jesse with the juice. Which bundle do you recommend for teas? Hey, God, goddessly. Um, I recommend the ATI teas bundle. All right, that's going to give you um, all four sections your math, reading, English, science. It's going to give you all four sections. Um, the bundle is 123 um, pages. It is digital, but it's also printable. Everything that I have that's digital is printable. All right. Um, some people like. Um, the printed version which is why i made that option possible but some people like me prefer digital versions and not just because you know we don't like physical products but because we have more variety and flexibility with digital products um if i just had a physical that means it's, it, it's a one and done if i wanted to use it again or if i wanted to write in it or in something like that i would have to buy another one or if i lose this I gotta buy another one with digital you can download it on um multiple times on any device it has to be your own device so don't go on here in these facebook groups <laughs> and upload my stuff for free <laughs> um even if you do that and you get it that way you won't get any of the upgrades sorry <laughs> but um yes that's one of the uh the the benefits of getting a digital of my products at least <laughs> being digital um, it does not expire. You get access um, forever. So even if you lose the email, just send me um, my support team in an email and we'll go ahead and uh, verify your order and we send the link to you. It's it's yours once you buy it. Okay, you can print it, do whatever you want with it, but that digital file, that original digital file is yours. Okay, um, all right, so that's good. Let me see what y'all saying. I answered yours. Uh, 717 we came on you came on at 6 uh 16 and then you went off at 717 talk to you later lauren all right i think that's all the questions that i see awesome job all right guys so that um wraps it up for today what i will let you guys know is that we have our final stretch um sale going on so for all you guys that are um either taking your finals preparing to take the teas go ahead and use finals 30 um, at checkout for 30% off everything store-wide. So whether it's 
a Ted T's bundle, uh, a specific study kit, um, or one of the exclusive shirts that we have, um, especially for Nurses Week, you can go ahead and take 30% off with the code FINALS30. Okay, it's all over my page just in case you forget what the code is. Um, and like I said, same thing, the code also works in the app. So if you're in the ATITs, well, in the Nurse Sam app, playing your ATITs Jeopardy mobile version, and you're like, oh, you know, let me back out and let me just get the bundle real quick. You can also use Finals 30 for your 30% um, off with your app purchase as well. Okay. Um, once again, if you're not a member of the Study Bar community, our monthly membership for aspiring nurses and stu student nurses, definitely, definitely become a member. It's only $29.99 a month. Or if you sign up um, for the annual plan, it's $300 versus like $360. I have to think about it. <laughs> um, so yes, there we go. We will be having um, lives all this week. Um, today was... Tuesday. Today was definitely Tuesday, but everything else afterwards um, is going to be really geared towards just nursing school and um, the NCLEX. I'm going to put up the live schedule um, very shortly after I come off live so you guys can, can see what we're talking about, the topic that we're talking about, on what days and what times, so you can like save that post, put your reminders on your phone so you don't miss any of this value and action going on okay all right guys thank you so much for joining me i will see y'all next week make sure you download the app so you can play your 20 free questions every week and then i'll see you guys next week at seven